Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft 121 Survival. Today's episode took a lot longer to make than I had anticipated. In fact, over 40 hours of gameplay went into its creation. And the reason for that is a long, sad story. So, gather round everybody, sit down and listen children, because it's story time. Having finished construction of my gunpowder farm, sugarcane farm, rocket crafter and of course my incredible TNT machine, I decided that it was time for an upgrade. You see, I felt that my suit of diamond armor was simply no longer cutting it and it was time to upgrade to a brand new suit of netherite armor. But little did I know the woes that that decision would bring. It all started after an AFK session at the gunpowder farm when I leapt off the side of the platform didn't deploy my elytra for some reason, and went splat. However, this would be just the tip of the iceberg. After making the walk of shame back home, I went about collecting all of my scattered belongings. Then I spent a little bit of time collecting some resources. After that, I made my final preparations, and finally, I was ready to once again head into the nether, with a grand plan of mining up a mess of ancient debris. And things were going quite well. Not too much lava to worry about, and I was really getting the goods. In fact, by the time I got back home, I had amassed 37 pieces of ancient debris. My treasure chest was growing fat, and I was feeling good. The only thing still missing from the equation was a netherite upgrade template. So, before going back into the nether, I stopped off to quickly fix up all of my tools. Then I spent a little time relaxing by doing some mining. And before long, I had amassed a vast fortune. But as we all know, fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. I had lost everything. My elytra, all of my gear and tools, four shulker boxes loaded to the brim with goodies. But worst of all, I had lost my treasure box containing my 37 pieces of ancient debris as well. And at this point, I was seriously considering abandoning this series and moving on to something else. But I didn't. I'm back baby, and except for the creeper blowing up half of my enchanting setup, things have been going well. I spent some time in the end, I got my shulker boxes back, I've got a bunch of armor and tools, and the only thing I still need to do to pretty much get back to where I was is enchant all of them with decent enchantments. At the moment they're looking pretty rubbish, but take a look at this, not one, not two, but six elytras. And I've learned a valuable lesson about storing all of the good stuff in my ender chest. So I'm going to do exactly that. Let's just reorganize, put all of the good stuff away, and then I need to go and see about getting some better enchantments on my gear. But before I can do that, I need to rebuild the part of the enchantment setup that the creeper blew up. And that means I need some bookcases. I've got those. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I need. So let's go see. Uh, hang on, I need some dirt. The creeper took a chunk of earth with him when he blew up. So let's just come in here. Look at my storage system. Isn't it looking great? Anyway, dirt it is. Let's just grab, I think, a stack. Yeah, let's. that should be enough. One stack, I think that'll do just fine. So let's head up there, check out the damage, and then fix it up so that we can get our gear and our tools up to snuff. At the moment, they've got some enchantments on them, as I said, but they're pretty sucky. And just look at this. 
He really made a mess of this place and uh, I'm making a bigger mess now. So ah, there we go. That should be better. And then let's just fix it up with some dirt. I'm not exactly sure what it looked like before. So I just have to go with what I think it's supposed to look like now. And this is way too low. Yeah, still too low. Okay. Next, let's start from the top and I think that'll do. And yeah, I can still get in and out of there. Maybe one over there. It looks a little bit artificial. Let's take that one away. And let's remove that one as well and see. Yeah, I think that'll do. Let's just place a little bit of dirt over here, over there. And that should be just fine. Next up, let's grab our bookcases. Let's put this back in order. I think I need about six of them. So yeah, let's just put one there, one there, maybe one back there. Let's pop the last one back there. And that should give us our level 30 enchantment. Of course, I've got nothing to try it out with. Let's just try this quickly and nope, oh, well, it was worth a try, but I've got an iron axe. Yeah, I've got my level 30 enchantments back, which is absolutely brilliant. So I'll need to go get some levels, do a few enchantments and then head back to the nether because I still don't have a netherite upgrade smithing template. I also need to go mine for some new ancient debris, a lot of work. So let's get started. <laughs> And this time we actually did have some technical difficulties. My hard drive was full, it didn't record and I didn't have any footage for what followed. But I'll give you a quick rundown. I fell into the lava, died again and lost everything again. Fortunately I had a spare elytra, five of them in fact, and some spare armor and tools. Which means the only thing that I really truly lost was my dignity as all the valuables were tucked away in my ender chest. And now that we're all on the same page, let's get back to the action. After many, many hours, I'm finally back at the treasure bastion and I'm just going to take care of that brute over there before he gets over here and whacks me. There we go. So let's get in there and go see about that treasure. Now, I hadn't touched the chests in this bastion just yet and hopefully there's a netherite upgrade in that there should be. I think all treasure bastions do have one of them at least. So let's get down and let's get funky. Now this time around I have one massive advantage that I didn't have last time and that is potions of fire resistance. I've got a bunch of them, I've chugged some of them and that means my arch nemesis Mr. Lava down there won't be able to get me this time. I've also streamlined my inventory so as you can see I won't be losing too much if I do die and all of my stuff goes flying into the lava. But I still have to be careful of the brutes because they do pack quite a punch. So there's still reason to be cautious. And I'm just going to stand on the edge. Take out this guy down there. He can't get me but I can get him and into the fire you go you nasty thing. And now that he's in the lava I think I can quickly hop down there. Take out that bridge and I should be safe from the rest of them. So let's get to work. Dig up all of those and there we go. We are pretty much safe from everything else. I've taken out the spawners as well. And this is the nasty pool of lava that cost me everything and probably about 20 hours of gameplay. So let's chug a potion, get down there and see if by any miracle anything has survived. And the answer is a resounding no. Let's get out of the lava, check out the treasure. Hopefully we've got some netherite smithing templates, which means we can get out of this bastion and get to work replacing our lost ancient debris. I'm going to fill this up quickly just to make sure that this is indeed a safe space. And then let's check out the treasure. We've got two chests over here. We've got a bunch of gold and let's see what goodies the fairy has brought us. And yeah, we've got a smithing template. We've got some diamond armor, some quartz, some gold some iron arrows and a diamond sword not too bad and the other one we are another upgrade template a scrap of ancient debris a smithing template armor trim and some more diamond stuff that is absolutely brilliant and honestly i'm going to take all of this gold as well but before i do that i'm going to do what i should have done in the first place and put all of my valuables in my ender chest so let's just pop all of these in here keep them safe and then we can put this shulker box in the ender chest and make sure that all of this stuff makes it back home even if we don't. I'll just grab another fire resistance potion because I'm sure I'm going to be needing one pretty soon. So let's just grab our ender chest, stow our shulker box, all of our goodies should be safe in there and then we can get out of here. But first I'm going to grab all of this gold. Let's just pick up our ender chest first because of course we don't want to lose that. 
grab all of the gold, I'll put that in the ender chest as well. And I have to say that this has been a much, much more successful trip to the nether than my last one. So I think we've got everything there is to offer around here. It's time to get out. There's nothing else of value to be had here. And I think as longer we stay, the longer we... <sighs> For goodness sake. And that is why I've got a potion of fire resistance. So let's just get out of this hole. Okay, I'm just going to dig that one out. Climb out here and then let's block this up to prevent that from ever happening again. Not that I'm planning on ever coming back to this bastion. In fact, had I just brewed some potions of fire resistance in the first place, I wouldn't be back here now. But we've got everything we need. We've got everything we came for. Let me just put my gold in my ender chest as well. There's one spot over there for it. And I can see some magma cubes sneaking up on me. So I think the time has come for me to get the heck out of Dodge. Got my rockets. Let's go. It's been a truly fruitful trip to the nether. I think I've got everything I need except for my ancient debris. I'll go back for that just now. But let's take a moment to look at my storage system. It's really filling out nicely. My system is working quite well. I know pretty much where everything is at all times. And there's still a few chests for future acquisitions. Some of them haven't been assigned yet. And some of them are going to go towards housing doubles, such as deep slate, stone, all of those kind of things that I'm going to end up with millions of. Anyway, it's time to go and get ourselves some more TNT because I need to go and mine for more ancient debris. The gunpowder farm should have been running while I was doing some mining. And yeah, we've got quite a bit of gunpowder. I might need to do another AFK session just to get a little bit more. But this, ladies and gents, is a good start. So let's go make some dynamite. We've got a lot of firepower. And of course, the next step is to blow the heck out of the nether. So far, I haven't been having too much problem with lava. I've been getting some good results, and I'm hoping that this is going to continue throughout this mining session. I've got plenty of TNT, and I've got plenty of hope. Our mining session in the nether over we are back home i've also been doing a ton of mining back here and ladies and gentlemen i have amassed a vast vast fortune feast your eyes um which shulker box is it, it no oh come on wait it it's that one feast your eyes on this i have managed to gather 62 pieces of ancient debris now, I know that's not quite a full stack, but it is ancient debris, and I'm counting it as such. I also have a ton of deep slate diamond or redstone or gold or lapis lazuli. And with that, I have accounted for every time I died with one stack of ore. My debt has been repaid, and I'm going to put the shulker box in my treasure chest up there until I can get around to breaking it down, because once I do, I'm going to have a ton of resources. But now it's time to move on. It feels like I haven't really been doing much building in this series so far and today that's all about to change because the Fungasaurus Advanced Innovation Lab has got to get some clothes. At the moment it's a horribly ugly naked tower standing there in the middle of nowhere and I think it's time that we dress it up all pretty. Now this is going to be a massive project because frankly this thing is pretty huge. I am going to need to build a building to cover all of it. And that means it's not only going to be girthy, it's going to be tall as well. I've got an AFK spot up there at the moment, but I don't think it's quite high enough. So it's going to need to go up even higher. But let's just take a quick flyby, have a look and see exactly what we've created here. The size of this and the sheer scale of the building that I'm going to need to construct to cover it all. Now I've been working on a design of what I'd like to build here. Unfortunately, it requires tons and tons of glass, which means I'm going to need something to smelt down a mess of sand. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to build myself a super smelter. One of the things that is still missing from the innovation lab. So let's build ourselves a super smelter.
It's done, it's time to give it a test run. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is put some fuel in here and some sand in there. Let's just put two stacks in each. That'll make sure that we get a decent test out of it. And we'll do the same on this side. So in goes the sand over there and um, I need to get a little bit closer. In goes the fuel in that sun. Then we flip the switch and away they go. If everything goes according to plan, they should be distributing the sand and the coal correctly. And that means we should be seeing some results coming out of the other end pretty soon. So there they come and there they go. Let's go check if everything is working properly. Okay, we've got sand, we've got fuel in there. And over here we've got more sand and fuel, but I think that's because at the end the minecart only passes over the last one once and over the rest of them twice. I'm not going to be too bothered about it right now. I might fix it later, but for now I just need to get all of this glass smelted. I must say it does bother me a little bit that it's running empty at times, but I'm not going to make too big of a deal over it. So let's see if it's getting the job done and oh yes, just look at that. Absolutely brilliant. When I said I needed a ton of glass, I neglected to mention that it is a ton of black stained glass. So I need to get a lot of ink. Chase down some calamari. Come here, fishy, fishy, rubbery thing. And that should give me enough black dye for about 17 stacks of glass. I've gathered up all the sand I need, but the one thing I don't have at the moment is fuel to smelt all of that glass, which means I need to head down into the caves and go mine up a ton of coal. I had about seven or eight stacks of coal ore before I fell into the lava. All of it is gone now. So it's back into the bowels of the earth to replace it. And I thought this was going to be a quick uneventful mining trip, but instead fate had other ideas. While I had my attention focused on the zombie, this happened. To be honest, I never even saw that creeper coming. Time to break out the emergency provisions and go get my stuff back. Ooh, ouch, ow, ow, ow. Okay, that was not as smooth an entry as I would have liked. I've got one heart. Hopefully my stuff is around here somewhere so I can get some food. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I was down this way in front of the zombie spawner when I got blown up. It should be around here. So oh, come on. Third time's the charm. I've got the water bucket, so I shouldn't be falling too far. It is pitch dark, but it's fine because I don't think there's anything I really need to see down here until I get to the bottom. Ooh, zombie. No, no, no. Go away, zombie. Oh, no. No, 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 zombies fallen into the water with me. No, zombie! Bad zombie. And fourth time is the charm, except that all of my stuff has despawned. It is all gone. For the third time in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, I have lost all of my gear. Fortunately, it has taught me a lesson, and that is store all of your goodies in your ender chest. The gear I'm not too phased about, but the two elytra that I lost really hurts. But I think it is time to get out of this cave because I really, truly do believe that this place is cursed. I don't have anything to show for coming down here except a bruised ego and a bunch of heartache. So let's get out of here. Once again, I have recovered from the setbacks. I have mined everything I need. I have smelted a ton of glass. I have made a ton of black stained glass. And right now, it's time to get building. And the first thing I need to do is mark out exactly where I want to build. Now, as you can probably see, this thing is going to be immense. And there's no way that I'll be able to finish this in one go. So I'm probably going to do just the front of it today, which will give us an idea of which direction this build is heading, what we want it to look like, and how we're going to design the rest of it. I've got the footprint for the front wall marked out and let's just take to the air and see exactly what size we're dealing with. Not the biggest thing I've ever built, but it is right up there in terms of size. So let's get busy and let's build ourselves the face of the Fungosaurus Advanced Innovations Lab. Here we go.
ladies and gentlemen, we are done for the day and just look at it. I think we're off to a great start. I absolutely love the design. I love the way that this is going and I am extremely excited to design the rest of it. As I said, not the biggest thing I've ever built, but this is still one massive project, especially considering that this is the tiniest part of the build. But that, ladies and gents, is unfortunately all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and if you want to see more and see the rest of this building, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.